a bit difficult, but Cristiano Ronaldo's GF Georgina shares insights on adapting to Saudi culture. Dear friends, welcome to my channel. I am Maya. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. It's been more than a year since Cristiano Ronaldo made his Al Nasser switch. Beyond the on-pitch adjustments of playing in a new domestic league, the Portuguese superstar and his family face the task of adapting to life in a new country. According to George and Rodriguez, they have settled in quite well and everything aligned perfectly. The heartfelt confession was made in a lengthy interview with Adnan al Khatib for the Saudi Arabian magazine, Hia. When asked how the stay has been so far the star family, Rodriguez was nothing short of praise. The Spanish-Argentinian influencer insisted that everyone in the beautiful country had greeted them with open arms. Yet she had faced several obstacles in the beginning. I admit that moving to a new country, another language and a different way of life is always a bit difficult, but the experience of discovering Saudi Arabia so far has been an amazing journey. Be it discovering new places in the country or traveling around the country for work, the hospitality has been top-notch for the Ronaldo family. I love Riyadh and its people, and I feel their sincere love for Cristiano, my family, and me personally. And this is what I feel in all places and situations, and I become more certain of it as the days go by," added the 30-year-old. While acknowledging to easily adapt to the Saudi culture, she concluded, Since my arrival, it has aligned perfectly with my principles and values. Seems like the time spent in Saudi Arabia has exceeded Ronaldo and his family's expectations. Nevertheless, it's reassuring that they now consider the Gulf country their home. While Rodriguez has highlighted all the positives of their stay in the Middle East, Ronaldo encountered one major issue. The Saudi Arabian heat left Cristiano Ronaldo wiping sweat previously. Cristiano Ronaldo admitted to the difficulties he encountered while adjusting to the heat and training schedules following his move to Al Nasser. The 38-year-old initially grappled with the intense Saudi Arabian heat, where temperatures frequently surpass 40 degrees Celsius in the summer. In order to counter this, training sessions were held mostly in the evenings, which was not the same as the training schedules used by European clubs. Even his teammate, Alex Tells, once narrated that he couldn't train due to extreme heat. In fact, Al Nasser's former sporting director once suggested that the country's weather conditions might hinder its ambition to become one of the world's top leagues. Clearly, Ronaldo and a few players have faced challenges in adapting to the weather in the desert country but it seems that Ronaldo has overcome this challenge and is now enjoying the best time of his life. Should be ashamed has to be the worst defender fans call out Cristiano Ronaldo's Al Nasser teammate, despite 3-2 win in SPL clash. All Nasser fans on X have slammed Cristiano Ronaldo's teammate Americ Laporte after his error led to Al Akdaud, leveling the scores in the 70th minute. The Knights of Najd secured a vital 3-2 win in their Saudi Pro League clash away from home on Thursday, May 9. Marcelo Brozovic, 7, and Cristiano Ronaldo, 15, gave Al Nasser a commanding lead going into halftime, scoring one goal apiece. Al Akdaud did well to score against the run of play via Hassan Al Habib, 60. The hosts, reinvigorated by their goal, searched for an equalizer and were rewarded 10 minutes later when Al Alawi lost the ball in the midfield. Al Zubaydi dribbled past Americ Laporte to get the ball in the middle of the box. However, the former Manchester City star opted to dribble his way out of danger. This immediately backfired as he lost possession to Xavier Godwin, who fired home to make it 2-2. Fortunately for Cristiano Ronaldo and Ko Brzovic proved to be the hero, scoring from an outstanding volley in the 91st minute to seal all three points, sparing Laporte's blushes in the process. All Nasser fans were furious at Laporte for his error. All Nasser assistant coach gives verdict after Cristiano Ronaldo and Ko secure 3-2 win over Al-Akdaud Al Nasser assistant coach Vider Severino, 
has admitted his side had a difficult game but reserved praise for the players as they sealed all three points against a spirited Owl Act Out side. Owl Act Out showed great courage to outperform Cristiano Ronaldo's Al Nasser in attack. Despite having just 31% possession, the hosts had 13 shots, with five being on target, which was superior to the latter's nine shots. Cristiano Ronaldo and co. remain alive in the Saudi Pro League title race following their win tonight. They are currently second in the table with 77 points from 31 games, nine points behind Al Hilal, with the latter also having a game in hand.